Hi guys, welcome back for CA Inter MCQs on job costing. Now this chapter is important even from exams point of view, but it is always clubbed with absorption costing and with batch costing. The difference over here is obviously in batch costing, you produce batch of goods, each of which are homogeneous in nature. And in job costing, every unit that you produce is different. Suppose there is a particular person who makes say the murti. I'll give you the best example. Madame Tussaud, you might have heard of, they all make the wax statues. In London, they have like, you know, their main museum. Now over there, the Shah Rukh Khan's wax image is also there. Amitabh Bachchan is also there. Modi is also there. Whenever they make a statue, each statue is unique as such. They, are, they all follow job costing. They would like to be finding out cost of each and every statue. Okay, that's what we are doing over here. So, the question for today is, which of the following statements are true? Which of the following statements are true? So, bring the four options, please. Four options are, job cost sheet may be used for estimating profits of the jobs. Okay, B option. Job costing cannot be used in conjunction with marginal costing. Okay, C. A production order is an order received from a customer for a particular job. Okay. And D is none of these. Now, for this, we'll have to examine A, B, and C, all of them. Then only we'll come to know which is the correct answer. A. Job cost sheet may be used to estimate profit of a job. In fact, we all have done that in so many questions that we all have solved in class. That you try to make a job sheet. So, therefore, you will come to know the cost of a certain job. Might be you will know the selling price also because you have taken the order. So, therefore, you must have fixed the profits. You must have fixed the selling price with the supplier, correct? So, you will know the selling price. You will find out the cost by making the cost sheet of that job. So, difference will be nothing but your profits. So, job cost sheet can be used for estimating the job. So, therefore, A is correct for sure. Actually, out of four, if only one has to be correct, then A should be the answer. But then I'm going over to B and C. Sometimes something else might be a better answer. Okay, B. Job costing cannot be used in conjunction with marginal costing. It can be used. <coughs> yeah, marginal costing is basically a funda. Whereby we all think that uh, fixed cost which are already incurred should not be getting charged to a job because they have already been incurred. Example, rent of the factory, whereby all the jobs are getting performed. You might absorb them based upon your absorption costing. But under marginal costing, we try to be saying, is there any extra fixed cost that is incurred because of the job? If you say yes, then include. If you say no, then don't include. So, job costing can be used with absorption costing also and with marginal costing also. If you will follow absorption costing, then all the overhead costs should be coming inside the job cost sheet. And if you are following, say, marginal costing, then only those costs that are getting incurred extra because of the job should be coming. Okay. Else, like all those costs which are common costs that are not incurred because of the job, then these costs should not be coming. So, B is wrong for sure. Okay. C. A production order is an order received from a customer for a particular job. To be very specific, what happens in reality? Customer gives the order to the sales team beta, to the sales team. Once sales team comes to know what the customer is looking for, they give the order to the production department. Okay. That order that they get is called as a production order. So production order is not received from the customer. It is received basically from the sales team who gives them the production order. Okay. So, in this case, C cannot be the answer. D is none of these. That I would have selected if A was also not correct. But A is correct. So, therefore, A should be the correct answer. Okay. So, as per me, A is the correct answer. That's C.